Hello Oracle fans, this is Justin and in this Oracle YouTube video tutorial I am going to show you how to set up multiple archive log locations. Okay. So let's go ahead and set up Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure we're set to that. Finance and let's log on to our finance database using SQL Plus. And let's ensure we're, we are connected to the correct database select name from v dollar sign database so we are connected to the finance database now we type in archive log list command and we will see that we are in archive mode enabled and here's the location where the archive logs are written database or data finance archived logs okay and if we cd to that location database or data finance archive logs like so, and we do DIR, this is the location where archive logs are going to be written to. And we go, in a, we go into SQL Plus and we switch a couple logs manually. Alter system archive log current, we'll do three of them. That's one, calling the previous command, two, calling the previous man, a command again, three. So we get three system altered here. System altered, system altered, system altered. And we see that we have three archive logs with sequence one, two, and three. Okay, but this is the only location that it's written to because we only have one archive log location set up. Let's say you want to mirror them across different disks, you would do it in a production environment. Okay, and this is for redundancy, high availability. Well, Oracle provides you with a parameter to do so. Okay, so if you type in show parameter log archive desk the nice part about the show parameter command is you only need to do some of the you only it's like built in wild cards you don't need to know the entire option name parameter name um, the, these are instance options um, that allow the instance to behave in a certain way uh, you only need to know some of the name and it will fill in the rest so show parameter log underscore archive underscore desk and we will see all the locations here that we can create and as you can see we can create ten of them one is already created here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine down here ten and then we begin with the uh, state of them which is which are all enabled okay so this tells us that we can have ten mirror locations we'll call them well, one location and then nine mirror locations, really, um, of archive logs. Okay, so nine copies of them. Well, ten total. Okay, but we're only writing the one. So we need this. We're going to set location number two now. Okay, so we have two copies of all future logs, and that's set with the following: alter system log archive destination two equals location c colon slash database or data finance archive logs to scope both and that's not going to work because I first I need to set this to archive logs like so I need to create the directory they need to exist archive logs 2 like so and there it is archive logs 2 okay so now I can go in SQL plus oops so I just did alter system set log archive desk 2 to this location and if I show parameter of log archive desk, I will see that I have archive log set and I have archive logs to set for my second location. Okay, archive logs to nothing in them. So now, if I do a alter system switch, I mean archive log current, which will switch my archive log again, create another archive log. I will notice that I have number four in the archive logs directory, but I'll also notice that number four is also in archive logs too. 
and the same goes if I were to switch it again. I have number 5 in archive logs directory and I have number 5 in archive logs 2 directory. And of course, oops, I can create another directory called archive logs 3. Three, set destination number three. Show parameter log archive desk, and I can see it up here. So I got three set now. I got one set to archive logs, two set to archive logs two, and three set to archive logs three. System archive log current. And I'll do this two times. Switch two more logs. Recall the previous command. Now if I DIR archive logs, I will see 6 and 7 in my original location. And to 2 location, I'll see 6 and 7. And then the 3 location, I'll see 6 and 7. Okay? So, that's so. this is cool because if I ever lose an archive log location, I have to do a recovery. I can just switch to another location and use that location, which I show in another video. So, that... that that's how you would uh, mirror the how how you would mirror your archive logs. Now, let's say you wanted to disable one of these archive log locations. You needed to you needed the space, so you needed a hard drive. Let's say they're all on different hard drives. Okay, which in a SAN environment it's not quite accurate terms, but okay, let, you know, let's say you needed to take one of those disks offline, and it was copy number two. Okay, show parameter log archive. Okay, so number two is what you, so number two is this, this location you need to take offline. Notice how they're all enabled. You could go ahead and you could say alter system set log archive dest state two. Equals defer scope as both. Okay, show parameter log archive desk state 2. And it says defer to this archive log location. So basically what you did was, was you turned it off. You disabled that specific location. So now we're going to do alter system archive log current. And what the heck we'll do to like we've been doing. And now, when I DIR archive logs, I will see 8 and 9. Archive logs 2, I'll only see 7, because you remember I deferred it. Okay? And in archive logs 3, I'll have 8 and 9. Okay? So, archive logs 1 destination, I have 8 and 9. And archive logs 3 destination, I have 8 and 9. But archive logs 2 destination, I only have 7, because I deferred it for that switch. Now let's say the it's the um, maintenance on that disk drive or whatever is completed. Show parameter log archive destination state two. You can re-enable it by doing alter system set log archive destination state two equals enable scope both. Now it's enabled. Alter system archive log current. And we'll switch it again. And now when I do my DIR archive logs, I see 10 and 11. 2, I see 10 and 11. I'm missing 8 and 9, which can be dangerous. And 3, I'm missing 10 and I'm, I'm, I have 10 and 11. Okay, so now to re-enabled, changed destination 2 from defer, which is disabled, to enabled, which is turning it on. We're now getting archive logs again. And what I would do in this situation is I would copy 8 and 9, the ones I missed, the gap, manually with the OS copy command over to this to make this destination whole again. Okay? Because if these two destinations fail, which you probably will, Murphy's Law, and you didn't copy it, you're in trouble. You can only recover up to 7 because you can't skip um, 
archive log sequence numbers while you're recovering your database. You gotta stop where you are. Even if you have the other archive logs, you just can't skip. You need them all in consecutive order for that to work. Okay? All right, and this is good practice if you have the disk space for any production database out in the field. I always recommend it and work it in the project plans. Okay, that's how you mirror archive logs. And remember, you can only have nine copies, a total of 10. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, nine mirrored copies, but a total of 10 locations.